Hey you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with St. Valentine's Day idea for earrings. They are done with rondelles. I haven't seen hearts made with rondelles, that is why I decided to make them. They are easy and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you'll be able to make them even if you are a beginner. They are a great present for your mothers or for your friends and you could also wear them on the same Valentine's Day. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting. Down there in description you will see a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and the link to my second channel with the fast clips that you could also check out. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are these beautiful faceted crystals, also called rondelles, that are 4 by 6 millimeters. Uh, this is, these are two colors of 11 o seed beads, golden and red. You could use 10 o's if you want. These are earring findings in this beautiful old gold color. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are pliers that I use only to go through the difficult beads. They are not obligatory. Okay, so now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I start by picking up three of those beautiful crystals. Okay, I have them here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made pulling and then I will make one more knot just like this and I'm sure that my work is really secure then I go through the following bit and when I pull my knot hides inside okay so now I could cut this tail thread here because otherwise it will be on my way all the time. What I want to do next guys is take two of these beautiful crystals and I go back here through this one. Then I go here in the next crystal and I will repeat the same thing. I'm taking two crystals and I'm going back in circle through this one here. Okay, now I have this. Then guys, what I do is that I go here through this one and what I want to take are three of these beautiful seed beads and I'm going back here in my next crystal. Now you see what I have. Okay, here I'm going to take one more uh, seed bead, sorry. I'm going in this crystal and here what I want to do is to make a small repositioning of my thread. Okay, going through this crystal and through this one and I'm doing all of these guys because here I want to add just one seed bead between those two red beads okay now I have this one added here between those two crystals in the center then I go here through the next one and what I want to do is exit here and add a third seed bead between those two crystals Okay, I'm adding it. Now you see what I have. And here, just to be symmetrical, 
I want to add three more seed beads in between those two crystals like I did here. Okay, then I pull. Now what I do is take one crystal, go here, pull, take one more crystal, go here, pull. Now you see what I have. Then what I want to do is that I want to go back here at this part. And my goal is to exit out of this one at the edge, the central one here, you see? Okay, the central one. And now I'm taking two crystals, going back through the central one. Okay, I have this. Then I go in this one and at the last that will finally form my heart. Okay. Now I have my heart shape almost ready, but I need to add a final touch. You see how those crystals here are not attached to each other. That is why I want to go one more time at the edges of my work and make it stay together. I'm making this additional thread pad here. Now what I do is that I go through this red one and I want to add just one more red and go here through the central one. Okay, then another and I'm going here through the third one. Okay. Then through this crystal and the following seed beads and what I want to do is attach those crystals one more time. Okay, because these two are not connected. I'm making here additional reinforcements. And when my heart is ready I will start here the final part and turn this into an earring. Okay guys, and now I'm going to pick up 12 of these beautiful golden beads. Okay, so now this is what I have on my needle. 12 beads and a crystal. Okay. Then in my next step, I'm picking up two seed beads, my earring finding, and then again two seed beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going to slide this down as well. Okay, just like this. And I'm going back through the crystal first. Okay, here I need a little bit of fixing. Two beads from one side of my ear wire and two beads from the other one. Okay. Then what I do is that I go through three of these beautiful golden beads. Okay, three of them. Just like that. So now I have this and I will pick up nine seed beads. Okay, I have nine 
and what I want to do is that I go in the same place where I started this from okay and pull now guys what you could do is an additional reinforcement you could do it through the whole of your earring just to make it nice and tight at the edges or uh, you could do it here um, using less thread through the top crystals okay now i will make this reinforcement here and you could do even one more reinforcement if you want okay you see where i'm exiting out of these two seed beads then i go back here I go back okay and then pull tight go in this direction and you could do several reinforcements as I said and now exit here and find a place that is suitable to make a knot let's say here between those two crystals i make a loop and i go once and i go second time through this loop i've made and i pull go through the following crystal and you could repeat this knot several more times when you're ready you go through the next bead and after that cut your thread as close as possible to your work okay now guys my crystal heart earring is ready i just want to remind you what i said in the beginning that you could turn this into a strawberry when you add small golden dots here around in the center and you could make here green leaves at this side and it will look like a strawberry okay so now my saint valentine's crystal beaded hearts are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did follow my tutorials and you could also check out my second channel bijuteo fast clips and if you like it subscribe there as well thank you so much for watching bye bye from me